gentlemen, in this middleweight division, it's wide open, but if he wins tonight, he will get his shot at the 185 pound title. This is a guy that has flirted with contention at times. He has never been as close as he is right now. Next stop, title fight if he can get the job done tonight. This guy has ruthless one-punch knockout power. You can't teach it, but when a fighter has it, it's a huge advantage. the former UFC middleweight champion, the man who took down Anderson Silva in his prime, Chris Weidman, two-time Division I All-American wrestler at Hofstra and a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt who really took to the gentle art quickly. That doesn't even speak, Joe, about the power and the striking acumen. This guy, as good as any middleweight in the world, he has spent the bulk of his prime at or near the top of this division and still out to prove that he can regain the gold that he lost. Chris Weidman is an outstanding wrestler, a multiple-time All-American with a great chin, knockout power, and a sensational submission game. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Silva is 10 years his senior. The rest is roughly identical. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the spider. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, 10 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Are you ready? Are you ready? Stop and with that, we are underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Oh! Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Let's see that again from another angle. Great angle here. I mean, just stiff. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at 11 seconds of the very first round. He's playing the winner by knockout, Anderson Espada Silva! So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.